Yes, indeed. What's up, everybody? This is SKB Fishing. It's January 3rd. It's New Year's. It's cold. And we're going to talk cold water tactics. Now, before we even get into cold water tactics, and this is just pretty brief, I'm just going to give you a simple how-to on some tactics I'm going to use that pretty much get pretty good results. We're talking smallmouth and largemouth. We're talking shallow water, clear, clear water, deep water. Okay, um, but when we talk about cold water, basically it starts about 55 degrees and down. And as you do a lot of research on tactics like hair jigs, blade baits, you'll see a lot of uh, references to cold water tactics. And you'll see below frigid temperatures, but then you'll see water temperatures 50 degrees. That's not quite applicable for true cold water tactics. True cold water tactics, you know, when the water is cold, meaning it's frozen, it's already fro it already freezed and it thawed out or it's on the brink of freezing so now you're looking at water temperatures in the 30s upper 30s basically 35 degrees and up so we're going to keep that range about 35 to 42 degrees and the way uh, i approach uh, different bodies of water during the cold water season and how i produce some fish so a few things you want to keep in mind you always want to dress for success real really pretty simple got the face mask on you know Got the striker stealth gloves, striker ice gear. I pretty much dress like I'm going ice fishing, but I also want to make sure I'm dressed in layers so I can be pretty movement. You know what I mean? I get my movement on, you know, so you want to be able to fight fish. You don't want to be a big stiff, you know, so you want to have good head gear on, good face protection, three layers. You know, I have this layer on, I have another layer on right here. So I got three layers on right now and I got some uh, waterproof um, thermal boots on made by Merrill, you know, so, so I'm pretty much dressed, dressed pretty good. Then you want to get into uh, the tactics, and the tactics are different. They're going to determine, well, the tactics are determined by where you're going to fish at. So if you're going to fish in some wood, you know, um, I'm going to use a uh, bucktail type of jig, hair jig that is, bucktail jig with a big brush guard. If I'm going to fish uh, deeper, you know, like I'm um, looking for gravel, rocks, sandy banks, sandy flats, then I'm going to use um, a smaller hair jig. I don't need a brush guard because it's not going to be much cover, you know. Um, and then if I think I'm going to be out in deep water and I'm not quite sure what kind of covers there there is, then I'm going to use more like a blade bait, you know, so case in point, I got a brown, orange, Arctic Fox uh, hair jig right here made by lead free bass jigs with a little small crayfish trailer on here. I'm going to use this for smallmouth primarily and largemouth too around grass and stuff. And then uh, for a minnow imitator, you know, same type of jig, but just all black, you know, and I got a little swim bait that I cut and put on sideways here. This is going to imitate like a herring minnow, you know. And then reaction right now, I got just a blade bait, half ounce blade bait, eight pound Vicious Pro Elite, fluorocarbon line, Ardent C4 spinner reel, Ardent six foot nine fast action uh, rod. And that pretty much surmises it, you know, summar uh, summarizes it. Then also, I'll uh, use a heavy duty um, head with a small swim bait to drag the bottom too. And that's kind of have, that has all my bases covered. Now, ideally, depending on whether you're gonna be shallow water fishing or um, deep water fishing, if I'm fishing shallow water, then I'm gonna use more of a jerk bait style type of deal, you know? And then I'll use this, my hair jig, you know, fr frequently as a, after I find fish in my hair, my, my jerk bait. But if I'm gonna be in deeper water um, and there's gonna be smallmouth around, then I'm gonna go find a place that has deep water really, really close to the shoreline and they're gonna stop looking for um, st hard structure, hard drops, and just uh, cover rocks, gravel, sand. And that's pretty much it, man. That's how you approach these cold water fisheries this time of year, particularly when the water is frigid, where you have to dress like this. So, and I'm not gonna discredit any videos at all, you know, but not really dress really cold out and um, <laughs> you, you don't see the air coming from their breath or, you know, it, the water is in the upper 40s, it changes the whole game. You might as well pick up a rattle trap, start covering water, you know, if the water's in the 40s. But if the water's in the upper 30s, you know, if the water already had ice on it, then you wanna try these tactics right here. You know, you want some kind of reaction bait, blade bait, some type of slow moving, fluffy type of slow falling jig, which is why I use a hair jig. And then um, there's always minnows moving around, you know, so some type of small swim bait, and then uh, you can start producing. So that's what I'm gonna get ready to do right now. Um, it's about 10 25 in the morning Sunday morning you know I just want to get me in one nice quality photo smallmouth and then um I might switch up tactics and um 
pull out a bigger hair jig and go after some largemouth. So we'll see what I can do. Stay tuned. SKV Fishing, out.